It's a great day for both the teams. It's a great day for us as commentators as well. We love to have the opportunity to bring matches of this magnitude to you. And we really don't know what's going to happen, but somebody we know will leave here with a piece of silverware and somebody else will leave here in tears. Showpiece event like this, invariably, there is a hero at the end of it. Looking down at those 22 players, I wonder who that might be. The city of Manchester, we've got Manchester City against Manchester United, but the whole area is infected with football enthusiasm. And now Manchester City can take on Manchester United really head to head. Yeah, can't they just? The noisy neighbours are here to stay, I think, and uh, this one should be close. Manchester City's lineup today. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4 3 3 gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers trying to do a job. Be interested to see how they get on. This is then the Manchester United lineup. With the way this manager likes to play, that four's going to sit pretty much in place, and the two in midfield as well. Yeah, that uh, defensive two won't be going too far. They won't be getting ahead of the ball many times. They'll be just trying to feed it into those front four lads. Well, Manchester United, there's lots of surveys go on, but one that said that they were the richest football club on the whole planet. Well, anybody that lives in England, lives in Britain, we all know about the history, the tradition of this famous old club and uh, the wonderful teams they've had down the years. No wonder they generate a lot of money. Alvarez. Able to make a good interception. Rafael Varane. Bruno Fernandes. They have produced some splendid matches, these two Manchester rivals in recent seasons, some high-scoring games as well. Yeah, we've seen some crackers. Uh, United have a strong squad, and never forget that 4-2 victory. Casimiro! Very good stop here. And that will be a corner for United. That's the goalkeeper's ball from the corner. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a danger. He's got room to hit this. Oh, so close off the bar. Alvarez. Walker. Alvarez. Bruno Fernandes. Never signed able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Bruno Fernandes. Rafael Varad. One back very quickly. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. Shots on here. Manchester United have scored! And what a finish from him outside the box. He couldn't have hit that much harder to find the left side. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken.
it looks as though this might have been a goalless game. You get that feeling sometimes, but we've got a goal here. I do have a feeling as well, Martin. This game will open up now, this contest. It's got to get better, hasn't it? Can't get much worse. Looking to get the ball forward here. Manchester City. Fernandez. Rafael Varad. Martinez. Doing well to keep the ball. Patience is the name of the game now. What a fine save. And that's a corner for Manchester United. It. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Problems here for Manchester City. They are problems that can be solved, but the longer it goes on, maybe the more desperate they might... Oh, too early, offside. Two more minutes to play, that of added time. Right into the middle. The Counter-attack could be on here. That's half-time at 1-0. Real pressure on the players in a match like this. Uh, at half-time, uh, they're coping with the pressure. Well, we don't have wingers in every game these days, do we? We've had one here, and it's a shame because a great winger can make uh, a great dead game because of their individual skills in wide areas. Uh, but he's going to be taken off now. Yeah, I can't remember the time, Martin, where he's actually got beyond, got past his fullback. Never been able to get the better of him. Kyle Walker. Kevin De Bruyne. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Sure. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Sure. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. And he's back heeled it nicely to a supporting player. Martinez. Cut out that pass, it wasn't an accident. He read the mind of the opponent. Kevin De Bruyne. Has a go with the volley. Great stop. If you're going to shoot from that position, Alan, you've got to do better than that. I think so, and it's not as if he didn't have support. There were three or four players he could have passed to. Substitution now. And might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. Got it back again. And the cross coming in. Tried for his second goal of the game. Thwarted by the keeper this time. Yeah, and that's a good stop. He stayed on his toes. Good reactions. Oh. 
Alvarez. Well, they're in a good position here. Good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely, to say the least. Substitution coming up. Alvarez. Good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. And he gives it back to his teammate. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. Football is a passing game. And goodness me, they're passing the ball around the opposition beautifully here. Yeah, there's been a good tempo to it, good movement off the ball, and they've made the opposition work really hard. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, this is the situation that Manchester City face now. Time against them, and the scoreline against them too. Uh, it's too close to call this, but they've still got a one-goal advantage. Kevin De Bruyne, that's great intercepting. Now the player who read the danger kept his concentration. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Good interception. It's not the day to be a loser. But unfortunately, this group of players have to have that sad, sorrowful, sinking feeling. Yeah, they came second best. They got bullied in a way, physically, as much as anything else out on that pitch. There was more know-how in the winning team, and they just couldn't step up to the mark. They're going to get their medals, but they're not the medals that they really wanted, that they were praying for last night. It's an awful day to be a loser, but terrific final. It has been a terrific final. Sometimes they disappoint, don't they? There's a little bit of tension and the teams can't express themselves, but that wasn't the case here. The losers as well played their part. Well, these are moments that flash by, but the experienced players will be just taking it in, drinking in the, the moment. When you have a, a success like this, Alan. Oh, yeah, I mean, they are moments to save, but you can't take them for granted because you never quite know when they're going to come again. Well, they're in the spotlight, and they've earned the right to be so. Superb effort from this team. Something to show the grandkids, isn't it? BT like this, and they'll play it back after they've retired and really will appreciate it even more then. The winners today, congratulations.